why do I use uh, I understand you hate OBD matrix it's really this like I don't know how people I'll just I'll just put it as clearly as possible I started gaming in my house I did not have an arcade scene growing up I live in the Antelope Valley the population was insanely small when when I used to drive around on like a Sunday like with my family there was literally and I'm not kidding you zero cars on the road on a Sunday morning okay there was no population here it was a de I'm in a desert town there was nobody here in 2000 it was the fastest fifth largest growing population in the country now that's a different culture but back then there was no one so you have to understand I started playing fighting games on the Super Nintendo right I didn't go to the arcade we were I came from literal abject poverty okay so i did not have any money to go to an arcade like that i didn't have any access to funds so because of that we had a super nintendo that's where i learned all of my fighting games okay so i started out with karate champ my parents helped some homeless people like they whatever and they just happened to have a cartridge and they were like hey here's a game for your kids and they gave us a karate champ that was the first game that i played i loved it and even though it's a terrible game now i can see that um, and then by the time I was around eight, seven or eight years old, I want to say eight years old, we got Super Nintendo and we had Street Fighter 2. That was my favorite game. We ended up getting Street Fighter 2 Turbo, which is really kind of championship edition, but they call it Turbo for the Super Nintendo. That was my literal favorite game. I loved it. I thought it was the, it was the best thing ever. And I like played that and I played Clay Fighter and all these games, but you got to realize I'm on a Super Nintendo. So this is all I know. I've been playing on the Super Nintendo forever. One day I went to a pizza shop when I was around nine or so, I wanna say, and the pizza shop had Street Fighter. And I was trying to do Shoryukens and stuff and I couldn't do that. I couldn't do it because I wasn't used to using a joystick. My left hand sucks. I'm a right hand guy. I'm absolutely ridiculous. Even even on the piano, my right hand can do things like like with the best people in the world. My left hand is underdeveloped. So now my right hand does my both left hand work and the right hand work. I lean heavily on that because it's been that that's what I've been using since I was a freaking prodigy, right? Like like three. OK, so now I don't know how to get the joystick to work right. My left hand is just not able to do it. So while I'm sitting here and I'm trying to play these fighting games, I cannot do a lot of the motions and things and I don't feel comfortable with the joystick. I start going to FFA and when I first go to FFA, now at this point I'm really proficient on the pad. Oh, okay. So I'm playing, I end up going, uh, play Marvel. I would go to like, uh, I went to the mall a few times and played when Marvel 2 came out. Um, uh, wait, wait. Let me just go through a little bit more after i finished like like street fighter and stuff and we end up getting like later street fighters my bro my family there's a pretty big family we live in an apartment complex with all these other people in these low-income apartments and we're playing these fighting games and they have like these little sessions where a bunch of people come over and they're playing street fighter by the time go time goes on i learn how to play and i get really really good i'm the youngest in my family so all of their friends and all of their like whatever are way older than me but by the time we were done I was better than all of them. I was able to confidently beat every single person that I knew at Street Fighter. I thought I was hot stuff. I didn't know about a competitive scene, but I thought I was that nigga. Like, yo, I'm probably the best player in the world. So either way, of course, you know you're wrong, but you don't know that until you come across really, really good players. So now I'm like that nigga. I'm playing me some fighting games. I love them to death. I learned Street, uh, Killer Instinct. It's my literal favorite fighting game of all time at this point. Yada, yada, I learned Mortal Kombat and I just sit in training mode all day because my siblings all age out and go to go on to life. My brother joined the Navy when he was like 16. Another brother ended up you know, getting locked up in some stuff. The other brother moved out when I was five. And so now at this point, I don't really have people to play. So I'm sitting in training mode that's all i have I just play training mode that's it and i would ask people to come over i'd ask my friends to come play they don't know how to play at a competitive level so now it's not really fun for me because i'm just beating them they don't really know how to play the game i'm trying to teach them to play the game but in reality they can't learn so all i have is me all i have is training mode so i just sit and sit and sit and back then they didn't have training mode in games so what i would do is i would put myself in the game i would turn my debt my um my uh handicap all the way to the bottom turn their handicap all the way to the top and i would just train against those people like that right and that's how i played and that's how i like learned combos that's all i did i didn't have access to people because at this point now oh we move out of these low-income apartments then we end up moving over to 
um, these house. My mom bought a house, um, her and my dad, um, when I'm in junior high. And at this point now, I'm still playing the games. I'm still that nigga. But now I end up getting access to Marvel vs. Capcom 1. And I want to say that this is in the eighth grade. And so now at this point, I have Marvel vs. Capcom 1 on the PlayStation. I didn't do school for seventh and eighth grade. My mom was off working. I was on homeschool and I didn't have the discipline. So I just literally did not do school. So I just sat and played training mode all day. That was it. I just sat in Marvel vs. Capcom 1 training mode for literally eight to nine to 10 hours a day while I would just be sitting on the phone talking to women, right? That was like my whole goal. I had nothing else that I wanted to do in life or I'd play the piano. So now I'm just a training mode monster. That's it. That's all I know. And all I know is the combos that I know. I don't, I learn infinites and I learn all these little things. I would go on the internet anytime I got an opportunity to, and I would like look and like, there was these like GeoCities websites that had combos and I would just study those things. And I would just practice those things over and over and over and over again. That's all I know. That's all I do right now. I've do, been doing this at home. I'm still not going to the arcade. I don't have arcades. There's a nickel arcade that's like right by my school, but I don't really have money. And so every now and then I will like get like uh, $2 or $3 and I would go there, but this is like so incredibly sporadic. I don't have like the means of regularly practicing. So everything that I've learned is all on a pad. So now I'm playing and I'm playing, I'm playing. That's Marvel vs. Capcom 1. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 comes out. I love the game. It's literally my favorite game I've ever seen in my life. At this point, I've been doing like training mode. I remember I used to own Street Fighter EX plus Alpha and I would do training mode on that. I would just go through all of the combos. I'd get off on that. Just like doing combo trials is one of my favorite things I've ever done. I just love it. I just love execution stuff. That's just something I'm into since I was a freaking kid. So now I'm doing that, playing that. I'm doing all these combos. My execution is good because I'm doing all these really complex combos and like that's all I do is sit in training mode I don't know how to fight people I just know training mode now 15 years old um, I'm sorry 14 years old I'm in the ninth grade and eventually my mom enrolls me in some college classes and at the college they have an arcade machine so now like I'm going to this math class like for for the college and and but it's a math 100 or whatever the name of the class was it was one where you kind of go at your own pace and you just take tests after you've studied the material um and then you just move on like that's what it is and so at this point i'm showing up to the class again being the undisciplined kid that i am i go to the college i sit in the class for five minutes so that i'm re registered for attendance and then i go to the cafeteria and i spend the entire time just chilling at the cafeteria playing games that's all i'm doing because they have an arcade in the cafeteria and so now they have marvel versus capcom one and third strike so i'm playing marvel versus capcom one i'm learning and so on and so forth i'm starting to clap most people there but i'm still getting blown up by some people now at this point this is my first real interaction with an arcade competitor environment with these random college kids now i'm getting to a point where i'm starting to blow these niggas up and i'm like learning more and more combos i'm seeing some people but some people are really blowing me up now i end up eventually uh that was like that was only for one semester and so then now i can't go to the college anymore um so now i end up uh like just having the game on training mode like again now marvel vs capcom 2 comes out I still don't have access to the arcade and whatever it is, whatever. I go over to low tier God's house, knock on his door. Like, yo, you got Marvel vs. Capcom too? He's like, absolutely. I'm like, you trying to play? He's like, for sure. So I just go in there and we play over and over. So now at this point, this is the person who has Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on console, which is my literal favorite game of all time. And so now I don't have any other means of playing the game. So I go to his house any opportunity I get almost every single day. And I'm on homeschool at this time. So now at this point, or on independent study. So now every time when I'm supposed to be leaving independent study to go home, instead I leave independent study, go straight to low tier God's house. And I just play Marvel vs. Capcom 2 all day, all day. But it's on the Dreamcast. Now I'm sitting here and I'm mixing this nigga low tier God. He will tell you I was destroying his soul. But I thought, man, I'm really good because I'm like starting to clap this nigga. I got really tight with my time with my timings. I was playing Spiral, War Machine, so on and so forth. And I thought like because I was doing a triple team up nonsense. And I thought, man, with the way I have these traps down, I am so good. Nobody can get out of it. He has no options and I've never seen anybody outsmart me or, or be better than me. So I genuinely start to believe in my heart of hearts. I am the best player in the world because I've never seen, I've never heard of SRK. I've never heard of tournament scenes. I've never heard of any of it. All I know is console and every person I've met, I am washing. So now I end up going to an arcade that was kind of nearby. Um, I go there one day with my brother, Johan. I'm probably 16 at this time. And I tell Johan, yo, I'm the best in the world on Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And he's like, oh yeah, you think so? We'll see. And so I play against this guy named Robert. I get destroyed. 
And I'm trying to like clap him, but he's like just better than me. And I'm like, yeah, but you're playing too turtly. You you play you're you're not playing aggressive. Like I'm being aggressive, and that's why you're beating. And he's like, I could play aggressive, but ultimately those excuses don't matter. I'm getting washed. So now I realize, like, yo, I'm actually getting clapped. Like you know whatever. And then there was one other person that I went to a different arcade called Mr. C's. Long story short, I tell that nigga like uh, I played this dude, and I'm like, yeah, I'm the best. Da -da 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 -da. I get clapped, and he said, you can't come to Mr. C's talking that trash, thinking you're the best. Yada yada yada. So so now at this point, but I know I'm not as good on a controller as I, as I am in the I mean, I'm not as good in the arcade as I am in a controller because I just don't feel comfortable moving because up to this point, I've almost never really played in the arcade, right? Like I've never, that's just not my experience. I have well over, like my whole life I've been on a, on a console, and, but now I'm playing at the arcade. Fast forward. Now. I'm playing Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and I'm playing against different people, and I'm and I'm, but I'm really, really a pad player. So I play, spend most of my time with low tier guy. The game comes out on PlayStation 2. I hit around 18 years old. The game is out on PlayStation 2, and now I have access to it, like be, via um, uh, I get I get a modded PlayStation 2, and I have Marvel vs. Capcom 2. By this point, I become like best friends or really, really, really close with this guy named Ricky, who I believe is slightly autistic, but one of the best fighting game players in, of all time, literally. But people just don't recognize how talented this nigga was, even though he was destroying everybody, everyone. So, so um, including all the heroes that you guys know, destroying them. It was absolutely, it was, it was, it was actually appalling. So this guy, I'm playing with him. Now he plays all these other games, Tekken and DDR, and we play music games and stuff. And he trained me in Tekken, and I decided I need a person that I can train in Marvel vs. Capcom 2 so that I have someone to play play against, okay? Um, I'm not disrespecting him. I don't think it's disrespectful to be autistic. I'm probably slightly autistic. Um, but anyway, that doesn't matter. The fact that the matter was, I end up training with this guy and, and I teach him Marvel 2 from scratch from complete scratch and then he gets better and better and I like teach him and teach him and I'm like telling him every single weakness I have for him to get better and so on and so forth. So our primary mode of playing Marvel 2 is on the PlayStation 2. PlayStation 2. So now, I'm now I'm getting really sharp and I go and I talk to my buddy Robert one day and we go over to his house and like I'm playing him and it's not as one sided. Oh, before this happens, Robert lives in the same apartment complex as low tier God. OK, and so now I find out where he lives and I go over there because he tells me, yo, you know, that dude lives and lives in my apartment complex. So I'm like, OK, I got to go over there. One day I go over there and I'm playing him. I borrow the Dreamcast from someone and I go to Robert's house and I play and he beats me like 50 to one. I'm just getting completely washed. And he's talking trash to me the entire time, saying stuff like, bro, you're not going to beat me. You're not going to get it. And I'm like, no, I'll just give it time. I will figure it out. Eventually, I will be good enough to beat you. And I'm doing it. And this like goes on for weeks. And I just can't beat this nigga because he knows more than me. He knows like he's the one who teaches me guard breaks he teaches me all these infinites and stuff so he knew the game and he had been to shut southern hills golf land a lot he was an arcade player i wasn't long story short i'm just studying and practicing and so on and so forth i don't beat him at that point now after i train ricky and we're sitting here and we're going ham we're playing hours and hours and hours and hours until eventually this dude is literally a mini me like he is my equal it got to a point where now i'm like the score is like 20 to 18 him to me and every time i have a, a pattern i would tell him this is my pattern and this is what you get out of it here's my weakness this is what i struggle with and i would tell him all these things because i felt like if he learns to beat me then that means now i have to get better to beat him so i want him to know every weakness i have ever all of that stuff but this is all on the PlayStation 2. I don't even know about no crazy arcade scene at this point. Now, long story short, I ended up uh, one day going to Robert's house. I'm playing Robert in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and I wash him. Like, we're playing, and now I realize all this training with Ricky has made me better than Robert. And I leave that house, I get in my car, we're going home, and I'm just giddy. The whole time I'm like, yo, I beat him. Like, I'm, I got him. I'm better than him, man. I'm, I'm better than Robert now. I'm so excited because this has been a demon of mine that I've been wanting to conquer for God knows how long. It means everything to me. This is like the, my whole mission is to beat this guy. And I did it. The guy who taught me, right? So I will always have respect for him, even though he was a bit of a douchebag at times. The fact of the matter was, this nigga taught me everything. So now I'm playing this.
he's Marvel, whatever, I'm still on the pad, so on and so forth. One day he tells me about Family Fun Arcade. You wanna go to FFA? There's a tournament down there and I'm like, uh, okay, I've never done this. I get right off of work and I go and I just go straight down there. Like he drives us down there and I get down to Family Fun Arcade for the first time and it's blowing my mind. There's like literally four Marvel cabinets like in this head to head situation. I've never seen head to head in my life. There's all these Marvel cabinets and there's these two big screen Marvel cabinets. And so I'm like, there's like six different Marvel machines. And then they got all these third strike and CVS two cabinets. And it's just like, and I see all these people there and we're oh, we're there till like one o'clock at night. And it's like, yo, there's just people playing tournaments, fighting games all this time. And I'm like, what is this? I I can't believe this is like a, a, a place. Like there are people that do this, this thing that I love that I've been doing my entire life at home by myself as an introvert. So now I go and I go to play and I'm getting washed. I mean, I'm now at the point where I've been able to beat Robert in my console, but I can't beat it. I can't play on stick yet. And I lose literally the entire time. I'm there at the arcade and I lose every single game for three hours for three hours straight, we're at the arcade and I do not win a single game. So now I'm like, man, this sucks. Like I can't compete, whatever, so on and so forth. Like these people are too good. So I go home, but I see the stuff that they're doing and I go home and I just train, 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 train on PlayStation 2. But every time I go there and I start seeing myself getting better, I'm watching match videos, I'm studying, but I'm not good enough to keep up with them because whenever I go to the arcade, I'm getting washed by people that I can tell that I'm better than. So eventually that year I get a car. I finally buy my a car from my um, Auntie Linda, rest in peace. And now I'm like, oh, that's it. I'm driving to this arcade every day, every day. Now this arcade is about an hour from me. And um, you know, I literally, Every single day, I'm driving down to this arcade, down to the valley, and like staying there till like three o'clock in the morning and then driving home. And I'm doing that every single, like maybe four times, five times a week, okay? And so that's what I'm doing. Cause I said, I wanna be able to compete with them at the arcade because right as it stands now, I can only play on a pad. So I do it and I go every day and every day. And eventually I finally get to a point where I start recognizing, yo, I'm keeping up with these niggas. The people that I used to think, oh, this guy is a beast, man. They're so good. Now I'm looking at these people like, yo, these people don't even know how to play the game really. Like they're like, you know, they're just not that they're not at that level. At this point, I've met Combo Fiend, I've met Elon, I've met Sue. I literally wanted to ask Sue for his autograph. I'm a complete fanboy, right? Like the whole time when I'm meeting this nigga and I'm like really thinking in my head, like I wanna ask this nigga for his autograph, but I don't wanna come off as cheesy. But in reality, oh, hey, good stuff there, bro. Um, uh, link me in the stream when you do it, I wanna watch it. Um, but I wanna go ask these people for their autograph. I think I might have asked Combo Fiend for his autograph. At this point, I've respected Combo Fiend so much that I'm naming myself after Combo Fiend as NBC2 Fanatic because I loved Combo so much. So I was really a Combo Fanatic, but then I just changed it to Fanatic. Long story short, I meet Combo Fiend. I meet all these people. I meet all these people that are like really, really like beasts. But after a while, I'm doing it and I'm keeping up. And now I'm starting to beat them, like some of them. Not all the time, but I'm starting to do this because I'm going to the arcade on a regular, regular basis every single day. But the whole time all this is happening, I meet Mega Man DS, who becomes like my literal best friend at the time. And now we eventually exchange info and we just start, we get on the phone and we just sit in training mode on the phone for hours. I mean, four to five hours every single day. I'm calling them up and we're just sitting there doing training and like, whatever. Hey, try this reset. What can you do here? Here. How do you fix this? How do you do that? Okay, well, well, you, well, you know, you could make it better if you, and so we're just working and improving each other's games on training mode. But again, I'm playing by myself in training mode, just coming up with resets, doing all of these things, coming up with theories on how to play, so on and so forth. Also, here's a really important part of this story. At the time, 2002, I get on AIM, I add two people, Justin Wong and Yipes. I don't even know if, if Yipes will remember this, Justin Wong does. I, I add Justin Wong and Yipes on AOL Instant Messenger. Now, I've been playing the game, but I still don't, there's a lot of theory and stuff that I don't know about the game. And I just start asking y Yipes and Justin Wong questions. Like, hey, how do you do this? How do you, um, how, does Magneto, be, is Sentinel better than Magneto or Magneto better than Sentinel? Okay. Um, like, should you always DHC to save Magneto even if he has a little bit of life? Or should you leave Magneto in there because that little life doesn't matter, right? asking all of these questions and i'm asking all of them and justin is a is at this point the best marvel player in the world and he's answering all of my questions so no at the time it's not yikes it's just justin and he's answering all of my questions and it's like yo this is like you know i i, I don't 
I, I don't know. I don't think anything of it, but I'm just like, wow, this is really cool. And I'm literally just picking his brain because I want to learn. I want to be the best. I keep thinking I'm one day I'm going to try to be the best in the world. And so I want all the information I can get. And now I need someone new to train me because all the people that trained me, I've now surpassed. So I don't have anyone else to really go off of. So now I'm asking this guy, Justin Wong. So I'm asking all these information and I gathered all the information. Now go to FFA, yada, 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 yada. Now I get way better on stick. I'm still always going to be better on a pad, but I'm so much better on a stick now. And I'm, um, all that happens. Evo comes around. At this point, I'm a music game guy. I played Beatmania 2DX, I still do my music and stuff. And I miss Evo 2004. I happened to be in Vegas at the time, visiting my friends because I had a Vegas addiction. Now, in 2005, I go to Evo. At this point now, I am keeping up. This game.